Hello guys, uh, my name is Carlos and I want to share with you a little project I was working on. Uh, this is a um, Hammer 7 uh, paintball gun. And I decided to make myself a nice uh, little uh, M1 carbine. And so far this is how I ended. So let me show you what I got, what I did, and how easy to take it apart. And uh, things that you, if you want to do it, things that you have to consider, you know, you have to look around and see before you try this. Um, on the day everything worked well. I got, uh, I got so, uh, so far I got just six magazines that I painted. And I got a small paint job. Uh, if you notice, uh, the magazine looks like an old rusted look, old metal. Uh, that's because uh, uh, the dust stock, this is the original color, it's steel. It's almost like gray, silver, or something. And I'm trying to match the color. So I kind of come close enough so the gun too, so it looks like an old metal rusty gun. So I, I use a lot of parts. The, the body is in a real um, M1 carbine that I got on eBay for 90 bucks. Uh, the charger handle, it's a, a real charger handle. For, you know what? I saw it's a, excuse me, um, I think it was an aerosol part. I don't remember. But I customized it to make it work. So it looks like uh, it pops out almost like a, the real deal. And it's really comfortable. And it rides under the S small rail, so it stays right there. Um, the, this thing, this is the real M1 carbine. Um, it has the oil paint that looks clear and locks. This part, uh, you know, I, I used to use it in my M4 for a magazine pouch. But I liked it because I run a remote line. Uh, from this gun and then off and on switch and it goes under if you go uh, when I installed that it goes under like this and this one too it's just out of my way so when I grab the gun it's not hanging out of the side it's just come down out in the back and just out of my way so I kind of like it so that's why I decided to leave it on so and this one is just a copy that I found and I just modified it to put it in there and uh, okay, the barrel. Uh, of course, if you you plan to shoot, shoot you can you plan to use it as a sniper anyway. You plan to shoot first, right? Uh, you have to get the barrel, the stock barrel. So I bought myself. I don't know if you're familiar with the Rat Four DMR. They use a specific barrel. It's from um, I think it's a Hammerhead. They make the barrel, and I saw what I got myself. It's a 16-inch Hammerhead barrel, rifle barrel. And I uh, I got myself the. This is a this uh, stack suppressor from a Hammer 7. I got another one longer, but so far I like this one. And uh, here, this is a little odd thing that I just bought myself. Um, a lot of people are familiar familiar with this camera. It's my camera, just the name. Um, this is, is a shark track, something like that. Uh, what it does is one switch off and on. So every time you you are you're locking a target, you just put it. You just turn it on, it takes two seconds or three seconds, something like that, to turn it on. It's like second, two seconds, and you're ready to place a shot. The beauty of this camera is that it has a five times zoom, so you really can see far, far away, and, and you just can record your shot, see where your shot is going to land in, you know. That's just a beautiful, I love it, I love this camera. And this thing is uh, from uh, Tiberius, it's just a just elevation. It's kind of cool. Um, so far, I got it for uh, 36 yards straight. 30 yards, 36 yards, I forget. That's what I, uh, I got to side in my scope. Uh, other than that, I have to kind of play around, you know, follow my charts, go quick by quick. I don't remember how many yards just for two click. I need to read my paper and see, memorize them to, in the field. So, yeah, this is what I did. This is my little project. And can be, you know what, uh, first time uh, you, you think, oh, it's $90, $80 gone, I can do this, you know. At the end of the day, damn it, you, you end up spend, uh, sorry my language, you end up spending a lot of money uh, buying the magazines, okay, you need at least six magazines, no matter if you're a sniper or whatever, you know, six magazines should be fine. Uh, you have to have a decent scope. Um, Actually, you don't have to. Any scope, any leather side probably can make it work. Whatever you feel like. I got it myself. This thing uh, by itself is like 50, 60. That, that scope 
frontal area is 650, 60, something like that. This camera was around 120, uh, the barrel was hundred dollars. So um, magazine spent like uh, almost 200 bucks in magazine. So you know what? 80 is not 80 anymore. You know, you had an 80 means 200, 300. You know what I mean? You had it almost like, I don't know how many times. You know, I mean, with the freaking, uh, I don't know, four or five hundred dollars gone, you know? And 600 if you added the whole thing, exactly. What, so it's kind of, you know, you have to be careful. Slowly you have to upgrade if you don't have money. Because some sometimes it's much better just to go and buy yourself a six, seven hundred dollars gun or a DMR or something, a sniper ready to go. The muscle around and custom make your own thing. End of the day, it's not working. You spend so much money, so much time, you know. So I kind of, you have to be careful with that. End of the day, I got lucky. This thing works like a charm and uh, I love it. And uh, another thing I have to be concerned is uh, cleaning. I don't want to fight and I don't want to do too much things to take it apart the gun and clean it up, oil and internals. And this gun, uh, I come up with, a, I don't know, it's just cool. Uh, the only thing I have to remove is this part and this thing. Unscrew the barrel from here and the whole gun comes apart. And, and that's a beauty. Uh, and sometimes if, if I can have a, a paintball breaks inside in my chamber, so easy to clean it up. I just take the barrel out. Pull that handle and I have this squeegee that goes right into and come with all the barrel and just pull it out and it cleans the whole thing. It's beautiful. So it works for me uh, just like a charm now. So anyways, this is how I got it. Let me show you slowly. And after that, I want to take it apart for you guys and see what I did, okay? So that. Here. And um, I see a lot of people running this gun, which are cool, just like that. It weighs nothing if you take this whole thing. This thing is what it weighs right now. It's not too heavy, actually, but you know, my my G, uh, my CG is weighs uh, probably around here. Yeah. So it's comfortable. It's not pulling anywhere. So other than that, I like it. I like it. I like to have style. I want to aim what I shoot, and I don't want to waste my Fresh twice, just trying to guess. Oh, a little bit lower, a little bit lower. Nah, I know. I I like to be in target and uh, close on target. You know, I like to see what I'm shooting. That's pretty much what I like. And uh, my mask, unfortunately, I had to use a little. You know, that that much, so I can, you know, I can get through my scope. Another thing I have to be careful is uh, so much space from here to here is why I have to stay or zero in my scope. Uh, 35, 36 jars, so my scope is almost like, um, I think I set it in two clicks down, 36 jars, yeah, and that's, that's my set, so it compensates with this much drop. If it's something close, close, I'm shooting, I probably, I'm, I'm aiming the head, I'm probably not hitting the chest or something, who knows. But other than that, 36, 35 jars, I'm, I'm on target. Alright, alright, so let me take this thing apart so you guys can see how it works. Just take that. Of course, when I'm playing the belt, uh, right now I got everything loose. When I'm, I'm playing the belt in the field, everything is really tight with tools, so it's not, it's not gonna come off by hand. Right now I just wanna make everything faster. Okay, the only thing I need so far is uh, I wanna remove this guy. And I have a, a flat screwdriver right there, and a knob, and that's then I just hold it there. There you go, and come off. That's all I need. Yeah. Um, put it aside, and this is gonna come off. I saw, so I, my bar is free. I wanna take the, well not, I have to take them off. I see, I'll show you why. And now, yeah, the other part I have to take off before I finish with this is this guy. Mag release. Mag release. Can I try this so I have to take them off? Put a little screw not to lose it. Right there. That's it. That's all I need. This guy and this thing. And my gun is ready to take to come off. So press and just take the barrel out. And the barrel is not gonna come off this way because if you know Bradford never makes straight barrels so they always get shoby like a little thicker here and skinny here so I'll show you how to do some up.
okay i'm out there's a bird is out and this thing's gonna come out right this way press it the whole gut comes area right here and then let me show you what i cut you see what i cut here here that's all you need don't worry if you can go to closet right there but be careful because this main screw that hold the internals are right there and this is my charger handle you know and it has a little levers here the right inside there so it never come off other than that you can look you can go through the internals you can change everything screw everything whatever you want to do this thing you know how it works you lose that this that and the whole thing come off so that and your barrel is going to come out this way that's it you have the gun and that's it you have your main body okay this is what i did with this body let me just take this thing out And uh, you know how it works, um, the little oil that you buy, this is the, re the real oil, it's supposed to be oil in there for the real M1 carbon, I just have it there, okay, uh, so this is what I did, this part is glue, it's epoxy glue to the body, because the, um, and uh, the real gun is another handle, you put it in here and it locks right here, there's another pin with metal light that goes here and it locks. So you put it like this and it locks that so it never come off. So in the paintball world you don't have that. So I just custom made this. You have to kind of drain on top everything so you be sure you clear the barrel. Everything is touch and flash before you glue. And I did some stain work here. You know you work with your Dremel everywhere. So be sure everything fits what you want. And uh, other than that. And actually if you want to be more creative. The M1 already has the hole in there. They kind of line up with this hole and this. Uh, you can get a longer screw and touch it up. But you know what? I decided not to do it because uh, I don't want to plan. I want to be sure this thing is tight. It's not going to shoot back on me or something. Who knows? So, because there's a lot of pressure for the air. It's 3,000 PSI in that thing. So I want to be sure the screw is really M. You know? So I decided not to play around with that. So that's just the body in here. And, um, that's it and uh, so for me to put it back I just do the same process I just put the barrel back what I want put the body there and that's it oh this thing put the barrel in there and that's it after that you just line out your barrel you know you, 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 you put it on put it there's the barrel there And the barrel starts getting tight, nice. And that's it. After that, you just put your micro release, put the thing back, and you're done. You're done cleaning your gun. Probably gonna leave it outside because I wanna clean it out. But anyway, that's it. That easy. No more big screws coming running around anywhere. So yeah, that's my project, guys. And so far. I used to own a DMR and a 46 DMR and I get more questions about this gun actually than the other gun so because you know what everybody can buy a Hummer 7 everybody it's affordable it's at $80, $89 you can get an EV for $50, $60 so if you get like this you want to custom make your own um, you can get bodies if you look around for 30 bucks M1 carbine bodies and end of the day you're going to spend like $200 and you do the same thing I just don't want to lose my time and everything. Just go to the store, buy a brand new M1, uh, Hammer 7. Got a freaking $89, the whole kit for the M, uh, carbine. And I just go forward. And the barrel, yes, you know what? I recommend you to get a Hammer 7 barrel um, from Rotor. It's a straight, it's a straight forward. You don't need any adapters, nothing. There's a spider thread. It goes straight to the gun. You don't have to do nothing like a uh, um, like hammer set barrels and company. You have to get it that kind of adopt or something. It's so weird. But these guys, you, you don't have to. You just go straight forward, and that's it. And you got yourself a nice reliable sniper rifle. Um, the only th the the thing is that why people like to shoot a um, hammer seven it has something that like a DMR. If a DMR, it's a a close ball. A uh, close ball is like it's just um, it's just kind of air. It's, it's, you don't see any um, you don't see any any uh, the whole ball back and forth hand head and the pistol. You don't have that in this kind of gun. You only have the punch of air. It's smooth. You don't. Uh, 
it's a close ball. It's a, uh, it's a pretty much like, almost like a pump uh, action. And that's what I love about this uh, gun. And, uh, and uh, so the first try comes smooth. It's not tumbling all over the place because you have the blowback back and forth. Boom, 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 head in it. So it's, that's why uh, a DMR, uh, uh, any sniper rifle that has a ball action, is so accurate because uh, it's not it's nothing hitting the paintball. It's just a smooth forward. And, and that's why you have to cock every time, you know, you have to kind of cock back and, and shoot it again. So it's the beauty of that, you know. But uh, other than that, uh, that's good. Another thing you have to do, is do you have to remember this, uh, uh, if you're familiar with the Hammer 7, you kind of adjust to the velocity through the barrel, it gives you a kind of, you know, tool, long tool. But when you change the barrels, just, that's it, you need to modify that tool. So I did, uh, I have, uh, that tool is like a screwdriver size adapters, you know, that you put on your screwdriver, the other one that you put any size, any kind of thread. So you just, I just got myself a long one and I put the, the bar in there and it works beautiful. So I can adjust that. Another thing you have to concern if you're shooting fresh strikes, please, uh, you have to call your gun with the fresh strike. Uh, everybody knows. Uh, you know, you if you call your gun using the regular paintballs, okay, 280 at max, and they can go right. And you call your gun 280. And after they shoot, you you change it to fresh strike. Man, I told you you can you end up shooting like three something, 310 something, something ridiculous. Your velocity is gonna switch. It's gonna be crazy dramatic, and you're gonna hurt people so bad. So I just do that. You know, if you don't wanna be an asshole, just chrono with the fresh strike. It's gonna take you a couple shots, shots, and that's it. And uh, I stay in 280 first strike, you'll be safe. You know, you you're not doing nothing wrong, so you'll be free point, you know, in the field. Other than that, man, this gun is awesome. It's good. I recommend you if you are able to come up with that kind of project, go forward. You got something special now, and uh, you know something different, guys. That's how I like. And uh, I want to make another video next time. I want to make myself and uh, everybody know this 80% lower. Um, you can buy anywhere. Um, you can make yourself high air. So I just want to mess around with this. Uh, I want to. I never. You know, I prefer to buy it all ready to go. But it's just I like to keep myself busy. It's all about myself. Uh, it's a J or something like call in and adopters. You clamp into the pan and. Uh, it has the holes where you might get the holes, it has the tabs where you cut and everything, the dimensions and everything. There's actually the trigger system that goes in the bottom. Uh, the whole thing, um, it's kind of my custom my, my own and see what happens, all right? So, uh, all right, next time I make another video for this and uh, it's up and running. All right, guys, thanks for watching and uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, if you guys plan to build in one of these bad boys, let me know. Uh, I can I can help you out as much as I could. Uh, you know, that's not a really thing that you can mess around with. Because the only thing you cut right here, I use the saw and I go straight forward. Just cut the little thing. That's it. That's what I cut. And other than that, the gun is. Oh yeah, you cut the the hole. You don't need any of it. It used to be like a pump shotgun, pump charger handle with a dot right here. The bar. All this shit. Just, just remember when you cut it in front. If you notice, it's a little screw right there, right? So you can see, you see the screw too. Actually, it's a hole there. So be sure you cut up on top of that screw. Don't cut all the screw because that screw is holding your main body right here, and that screw is holding the other body. So don't cut, don't cut below that. Just go a little bit up and shape it up a little bit. It's all you need, right? Just remember that. This is very important. Other than that, you're good to go. The gun is not gonna, the gun is gonna shoot the same, which are the, all these plastic things. The gun is gonna still perform the same. All right, all right, guys. So I hope you enjoy. Let me know if you guys got any questions.